Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and with Ikoria just a few days away, I'll be participating in the early streamer event. Um, so Wednesday, April 15th, uh, from about 1 p.m. Eastern onwards throughout the day, I will be playing a bunch of decks. Um, so in, in light of that, I'm putting together a bunch of brews. Um, so as always, these are proof of concepts, haven't been tested, but kind of playing around some of the ideas or themes of the new set, stuff I want to try out or stuff people have requested. Uh, I did put a post on my YouTube channel's community page. If there are any decks that you're kind of brewing up, uh, you want to chat about it, I'm putting together like group things, kind of things like that. Um, but also trying to play some viewer submitted decks as well on the early streamer event. Everything I play on that day will be up on YouTube after, but if you can, just swing by, say hi on Twitch, and um, we can chat about the decks as we play. The event's really cool, you get to play against a lot of like top level streamers and uh, MTG pros. Um, but now to the deck itself. This is a Demir Flash Tempo kind of list. Um, really kind of brought together with a couple new cards that were printed. Uh, so you have Cunning Night Bonder, two hybrid mana, blue or black, for a 2 2 flash. And it makes your other spells with flash cost one less to cast, and they can't be countered. Um, so it's really nice that you can play out your stuff. You don't have to worry about counter spells. Um, Mystical Dispute's not really something you need to focus on and you can kind of go from there. Um, so the deck, it's got your Spectral Sailors, your Brian Bourne Cutthroats that take advantage of the Flash. We have four of the Cunning Night Bonders. Uh, we have, I want to try out a couple of these Heartless Acts, so it's kind of like the Doom Blade of the format. Uh, so it's two mana, destroy target creature with no counters on it, or you get to remove up to three counters from target creature. We'll see how well that works. So keep in note, the, f the new set has like Vigilance uh, counters, Death Touch counters, stuff like that. So those technically are counters. So I want to see how often this is an actual removal spell, um, or if we play something like Murderous Rider or Eat to Extinction. Uh, Keep Safe is kind of like the dive down of the format. Uh, so if an opponent tries to remove one of your spells, you can counter that spell and draw a card to cycle. So it's kind of a protection spell as we kind of build out our board. Uh, we have some Tyrant Scorns. Um, so this could either kill an early creature, bounce one of our own creatures. If your opponent tries to mutate, they can let the mutate happen and bounce it all back to their hand. So you can multi, like, two to three for one your opponent that way there. Um, similarly, you have Brazen Borrower. Uh, Brazen's going to be bounce effects and then another tempo body. I'm playing three, uh, Neutralize, the new counter spell. So I want to try this one out. So we're valuing the counter with cycling ability over surveil at first. I want to see if just being able to uh, cycle when you don't need the counter spell actually pays off. Um... We have four of the Sea Dasher Octopus. So this is another new card. Uh, it's got a flash mutate cost of two. So ideally you could go like um, Spectral Sailor on one, flash in a uh, Sea Dash uh, uh, Octopus on top of the Spectral Sailor. Now you have a 1-1 one, one flying. Whenever you draw a card, whenever he deals combat, you draw a card. So kind of like the Curious Obsession draws that we previously had. Um, even on its own, it's still a three mana 2-2 two, two body. But if you have out the Cunning Night Bonder, it's a 2-mana two 2-2 two, two that draws cards. Uh, say, talking about flash cards that draw cards, uh, you have Slither Wisp. So mana cost might be a little particular, but we'll see how easy we can cast it in the deck. So this is a flash whenever you cast another spell that has flash. Uh, draw a card and each opponent loses a life. So typically these black spells make you lose a life when you draw a card. So this is an interesting way to attack your opponent by having pseudo burn out of the deck. Um, and then so we have four of those, and then a couple cards I want to try out. Uh, Dirge, Dirge Bat, Dirge Bat, we'll say like that. Uh, so this is a four mana flash flying. Uh, whenever this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. It does have a mutate cost of six, which is a little pricey. Um, we might want to go up more of these. I want to play it out, see how often we get it out, how often we can actually mutate. So technically, if you have this out, you can mutate the Sea Dasher on top of it, and then it can kill something. Uh, but I want to play it out, see how it goes like that. And then we have a couple Voracious Great Sharks, 5-mana, uh, 5-4, five five, Flash, when enters the battlefield, counter target, artifact, or creature spell. So it's pretty much wrapping it up. Mana base-wise, we have two of each castles, Temple of the Seeds, Watery Graves. Um, I'm opting for No Fabled Passage. If we're going to have tap lands for the most part, then I'd rather have these Temple Deceits. Um, and I want to try as much as possible to have untapped lands at all times other than the temples which hit both our mana base. Um, we'll see. Might be make sense to play a couple Fabled Passage, but we're not really doing anything with our graveyard. 
but we'll play it out as always. Um, these are obviously proof of concepts, like I mentioned. So we'll give it a shot, see how it goes, and can always revise it afterwards. So this is it. This is Demir Tempo Flash. Uh, if you do have any suggestions for other deck lists you'd like to see, do drop a note in the comments. If I've missed anything for this deck or any of the other decks I've posted, do let me know as well. And hopefully join me on Wednesday and we can play some new uh, games with the new set. Thanks for stopping by and have a great one.